Nigel Kaup, Al Sharar, Hickstead Derby champion. How do you feel? Amazing. Yeah, I cannot physically, well, mentally believe that you know you've finally won one of the big, uh, one of the big ones in the show jumping calendar. So, yeah, just amazing. Can't wait to maybe have a drink and um, celebrate. You told us earlier that you've been coming to Hickstead since 1984. You've been dreaming about this moment for a long, long time. Does it feel how you thought it would to win? Yes. Amazing. Yes, and yeah, you know, I mean, I suppose the longer it gets, the more the more sweeter it is. Um, yeah, I came in ponies. Um, I could have been 1982, 83. I'm not sure. I've just worked out my figures could have been wrong, but yeah, I came here in 12 twos, 13 twos, and 14 twos, and came here, did a few derbies, a few speed derbies. Um, love the place. As any, well, I mean, you can't not love the place. Um, and then had a bit of a gap where I didn't ride so much at the, at the top level. So you think that then classes like this away from you a little bit, but um, finally got a horse that was capable of winning the derby, um, and for it to come true is something you never probably think you're ever going to do, but finally has. And when you rode into the arena for the jump off, obviously in, in a lot of years a clear round in the first round would be enough to win it, but not this year as Harriet went here as well. Riding into the jump off, how did you feel then? Um, you have to refocus really, I mean there's three left to go and then Harry didn't clear so kind of like you you were hoping that you were going to be the only clear but I had a feeling that there probably was going to be one more and, you know Harry's horse jumped all around here so you refocus and just got to put a little bit of pressure on really um, I nearly did it, I should probably have jumped clear, I don't know why I'll have to watch the video back a little bit and see where we had that one in the jump off but um, I thought it was all over then and then Harry didn't die, I just like, oh, I wanted to turn away and start walking because, <laughs> because I just, just presumed that it was all over but then had the rails and then thought I was probably just going to be a little bit quicker than that. So and that, that's how it panned out. So yeah, amazing. Because this horse started in Working Hunter, didn't it? So what makes it so special? What makes him a Derby champion horse? Um, he's Irish, so you know he doesn't spook too much. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he takes it all in his stride, all the natural obstacles. So you know you're not having to you're not worried about him spooking at the fence when he's about to jump. And if you weren't worried about that. Then you know, then you're in trouble. Um, he, does, he does bank fine. You know, we're doing Hamburg and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, full of confidence really of him to do the natural obstacles, and um, it turned out that we were right. Dream come true for you today. How are you going to celebrate this evening? Well, unfortunately, I can't stay, get drunk, and uh, and uh, celebrate. But a six and a half hour journey back oh, up. Wow, to, goodness. Back up to Preston. So. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll celebrate Monday, Tuesday next week. Somehow go out and have a few drinks and a few beers. and uh, But then it's um, another show next week. <laughs> back to the day job. Back to, yeah, back to, uh, back to normality. Huge congratulations. We're all so pleased for you here. Well done, Nigel. Thank you.